Oil futures plunged to their lowest level in two decades as demand for crude continues to plummet and U.S. storage tanks fill up, despite a landmark deal between OPEC and its allies to cut global production by record levels. The U situation is quite dire, Daniel Hines, senior commodity strategist at ANZ, told CNBC on Monday morning. Clearly, being a relatively landlocked market there, we are seeing real pressure on storage as a consequence of the collapse in demand, he said. Without any sort of hope I suppose, at least over the next month about that easing up. I think prices are going to remain under pressure. According to data reported by CNBC last week, shipments of Saudi oil to the United States have already almost quadrupled since the outbreak of the virus and the beginning of the price war. Shipments have soared from an average of 366,000 barrels per day in February to 829, 540 barrels per day in March to 1. 46 million barrels per day in the first two weeks of April. Last week, Saudi Arabia and Russia agreed to record oil production cuts following a weeks-long price war that devastated the oil market amid a major demand slump caused by the coronavirus. It's not likely, however, that the agreement will be enough to stabilize the U market. There is no feasible agreement that could cut supply by enough to offset such near-term demand losses, the International Energy Agency warned last week. The agency expects that plunging prices and swelling inventories will force U producers to reduce production significantly this year. This December, it expects output to be 2 million barrels per day lower than in December 2019. A flood of Saudi oil is headed for the United States. Here's what that means for struggling American producers. Forbes, world's top oil producers agree to historic deal to end devastating price war Forbes, as crude oil gets hit hard, big players barrel towards bankruptcy Forbes, oil price crash pushes Whiting Petroleum to bankruptcy as stock slumps 91% Forbes.